G'day guys, how's it going? I'm Azza Whitnell, this is Azza World Sport. Big Sam, oh, what have you done? You absolute donkey of a man. Um, Sam Allardyce has lost his job as the England manager and he hasn't really got any excuse for it, to be honest with you. Um, the Daily Telegraph have done him a good one. Um, great work from them, you can't deny. At the end of the day, they thought there was corruption in football in certain ways and they've unearthed it. Um, I'm very sure there's going to be more to come. They've already said they've got other people in football um, you know, that they've caught doing this through undercover reporting. So how this is going to develop is going to be very interesting and a little bit scary for English football because right now this is absolutely humiliating for English football and the FA. Um, the whole footballing world is laughing at us because we've been so against corruption and so against so much of what FIFA has been doing over the coming over the past few years. With all the unravelings from that, we've now got this, and it is humiliating. And Sam Allardyce has only got himself to blame. He's blown the biggest opportunity he's ever had in in, in his career. Um, poor advice. By the sounds of things, his agent didn't want him to go to the second meeting, which is where they've recorded this, because um, he felt that there was something wrong. I'm not sure if that's 100% true. That's just, you know, there's so much being said at the moment. It's hard to gather what is true and what isn't. But yeah. Um, it's it's not good. For those of you who don't know, Sam Allardyce has been taped by undercover reporters giving advice on how you can be third-party owners of footballers, basically bending the rules of the FA because that is illegal in the United Kingdom. You cannot be a third-party owner of a player. And basically what he was giving advice on is how you can make money off of these players. So you become part of an agent's deal. Um, the agent is obviously the one that does it all, but you get a certain percentage of that deal when the player is sold on in the future, if he does well, you then get like 5 or 10% of that player through the agent's fee. Um, so third-party ownership. You're not allowed to do that in England. It's completely against the rules. And yeah, Sam's cocked up because he's been giving advice on how you can slightly bend the rules. Um, all right, you could say that he hasn't broken necessarily any rules himself, but I mean, I know he was taking like a £400,000 you know, um, fee to go and do some talks in, in Asia or something along those lines. It's still not 100% clear, but from the bending the rules side of things, yeah, it's it's not good. He has only got himself to blame. And people may be having a go at the Daily Telegraph, but they've just done, um, they thought there were suspicions around certain things in football. They've done some other undercover reporting and they've come out with this. And as hard as it is to accept, it's and as embarrassing as it is to accept from an English standpoint, unfortunately it's happened and... You know, it's a good job the Daily Telegraph have done it because they've unearthed these things that shouldn't be going on in football. And it's a shame that it is, especially from someone like Sam Allardyce. It's not the only thing that's embarrassing about this whole situation. It's also some of the comments he said about Roy Hodgson and Gary Neville. Now, I know a lot of football fans would say that Roy Hodgson didn't do a good job, but uh, he took took the mick out of him in a, in a way that wasn't really professional. Um, and I know he wasn't being recorded, but the fact that it's on camera makes it pretty bad. Um and, you know, it's even the same as what we were saying about Gary Neville, um, which isn't good. Now, I'm not going to elaborate on it anymore because it's an embarrassing situation and I feel quite sad about the whole thing. Um, obviously, go and check out the Daily Telegraph and um, have a look for the clips to see what he's been saying and what he's done wrong. Um, but, yeah, it's not good and it's a shame that it's come to this because I thought Sam could do a good job for England. But we're now not going to get the opportunity to find that out, which is a real shame because he's been an idiot. And now England are left with out a manager again um, for more embarrassing circumstances, just this time not on the pitch, which is a real, real shame, to be honest with you. And I'm, I, I do feel gutted that we're having to deal with this in England because it shouldn't be happening. Um, and I mean, I, I can already tell you what's going to happen. Sam Allardyce is going to go back to Sunderland at some point. I can kind of see it in my head already. Um, if he does go back into football because it would kind of make perfect sense if Moyes doesn't manage to pick up a win in the coming weeks. Um, and yeah, he'll always get sick for it throughout his career. But now that it's happened and now that he's left, he just kind of got to move on. I think that's what the FA are doing. It's good that they have acted so quickly, but at the same time, it's also embarrassing that they didn't find out and that it came from a newspaper and that they didn't have investigations going on into different things. Maybe, you know, they had trust in their English manager, England manager. They didn't think someone like that would do it, which is understandable. But it's the fact that you've got a, no a newspaper that are finding out all these issues when 
you know, you're the football association. You should kind of know or hear sniffles or hear rumours that there's bad things going on from certain people in the game. And it's a shame they haven't addressed them themselves. But, you know, by the sounds of things, they're going to be liaising with Daily Telegraph and the police to figure out what way to deal with everything that's going on. Because apparently there's a lot more in the big scale of things. And let's just hope it does get sorted and that, you know, whatever is going on stops. Because it's not good for the English game. And it's such a shame that this news has come about. So, you know, they're my honest thoughts on it. Um, just feel a bit devastated and embarrassed to be English with the way England are playing on the pitch. And also now that the way this has come out in terms of the revelations and the fact that it could also be happening at club level makes me very sad. So hopefully the FA can deal with it. But, you know, Big Sam, he's only got himself to blame for this as far as I'm concerned. I don't really know who could be the next England manager. I haven't really put too much thought into it yet. I know they're going to give Gareth Southgate a temporary charge, which I think is a smart move because um, you need someone just to keep you know, the team ticking over until then. They've got four very winnable games coming up. Well, I'll say four winnable games. Spain-friendly will be hard, but it's a friendly, so you know, sometimes they're pointless. It just depends on what attitude the players show up with as to whether or not they're going to take it seriously or not. Um, but, you know, they've got you know, playing Malta, Slovenia and Scotland. Um, and, yeah, Scotland will be a tough one because, you know, it's the Battle of Britain, but... England should win when you look at the quality in players. So, but yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's just a bit of a hard one to swallow, to be honest with you. But you know, what an idiot, what an idiot, and that's all I can really say. Um, I just hope that whoever comes in next doesn't balls it up the way Sam Allardyce has done, and um, you know, takes England forward in a positive light. I suppose all Sam can take away from this is that he's the only England manager in history. With a 100% winning record. No one can ever take that away from him now. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, Embarrassing. Though. But yeah, they're my comments. Or they're, they're my thoughts. Comment below. Let me know. What do you think of this whole situation with Sam Allardyce, the Daily Telegraph, some of these accusations coming up? And what do you make of the way the FA are dealing with it all? Please comment below. Let me know. As always, I'm Azza Whitnell for all things wildlife, adventure and sport. This is Azza World TV. And I hope to see you again soon. Please don't forget to subscribe to the Azza World TV channel.